Welcome back to B Movies Presents Cinema of Batman. Welcome back to B Movies Presents Cinema of Steel. Today, we're taking a look at Superman Returns. Bring it on! After 19 years of development hell, Superman Returns finally came to the big screen in 2006, helmed by X Men director Brian Singer. The film stars a then unknown and still unknown actor named Brandon Routh as the Man of Steel, and he's doing his best Christopher Reeve impersonation. Superman Returns picks up the story, tone, and characters after Superman 2, totally ignoring the previous three movies, depicting Superman's return from a years-long space mission to find his life has now changed into a soap opera with Lois Lane and her mysterious young son. Lex Luthor is now played by Kevin Spacey and has an evil scheme to grow a continent made out of kryptonite. Not a continent! Bibbs, what did you think of Superman Returns? Well, Superman Returns is a bit of a controversial film, but there are a lot of things to like about it. First and foremost, Kevin Spacey is an awesome Lex Luthor. He's very fun, very malevolent, has a good sense of humor, but always feels like a genuine threat. The film is also gorgeously shot. It's a wonderful production, lots of images, suitable for framing, stick in your head long after the movie's over. Got no complaints there. It's also a beautiful love letter to the original two Superman movies. And if you watch them from front to back, Superman 1, Superman 2, and then Superman Returns, they all play really, really well. But that's also kind of the problem. It had been 20 years between Superman movies, and even more years between the Richard Donner films, and audiences wanted something bigger. I wanted something bigger. I wanted something with more action. So while it's a really nice film as a unit, by itself, as a modern Superman movie, it feels dated, it feels kind of boring. I'm not a fan of that. Also, Superman lifts an entire continent made of kryptonite. No. Whitney, what did you think? I agree with you on Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey is definitely the best part of this movie. He is the only actor on the cast who looks like he's having any fun. It's also great to see Superman again, whoever's playing him, doing Superman stuff. I love that he catches a plane out of the air. I love a sequence in the middle where he stops bank robbers and bounces bullets off of his chest. It's exciting. We hear the John Williams music again, and it's hard not to be inspired. There is, however, a lot to dislike about this movie. For one, I don't like the tone. Superman is very broody. The entire tone is very downbeat. Superman spies on his ex-girlfriend at one point and dreams about a better life. This is not the Superman I grew up with. What's more, the film is far too long. It is two hours and 35 minutes long. Another weird thing is the casting. Kate Bosworth plays Lois Lane and she looks like she's 15. These people should be older and grizzled at this point in the story. They should at least be in their early 30s. But they look like they're children. They're play acting. And it causes this weird visual juxtaposition that's a little off-putting. It feels a lot more like a tribute reel. It's like a statue to Superman more than it is a proper Superman adventure. Superman will never- WRONG! Well, Porcupine, how would you rate this Superman film? Carefully! Superman Returns is kind of hard to rank because it works in one way and it doesn't work in another, so I'm going to put it pretty close to the middle. I'm going to say this is slightly better than the live-action Superman serials. Whitney? I'm going to rank this film kind of low. I don't think it's nearly as entertaining as Supergirl, so I'm going to rate it slightly below at number six, but it's not nearly as bad as Superman 4. We've only got one more Superman movie until we review Man of Steel on Friday. Be sure to come back tomorrow when Bibbs and I will be talking about the director's cut of Superman 2. Is it better than the original? We'll find out tomorrow.